The beauty of working with an API platform like Mux is that it's super flexible, so you can choose what features make the most sense for you. But maybe you're wondering how that flexibility influences your application stack. Well, in this video, I'll show you. Here's a quick peek. Probably looks like a lot, don't worry. It's simpler than it seems. So let's break it down. Here we're illustrating an example of a content creator using your mobile app to push a stream to Mux, and then your viewers watching the output stream coming out of Mux. Specifically, it's an RTMP stream being pushed into Mux and an HLS stream coming out with a lot of nitty gritty in the middle that Mux handles for you, like ingest encode, storage, and delivery. In this case though, we're talking about live streaming, but keep in mind that for video on demand, a lot of this is still applicable. The input type just changes from a live stream to a file. In this particular instance, we're making use of the live ingest health metrics feature where Mux pushes information about the network stability to the content creator so that they know how well the stream is making it to Mux. On the output side towards the bottom, we have the HLS stream going to your content viewer and that includes your video, audio, and captions. And a great feature we have is auto-generated captions in case you don't have your own captions for your content. Now that you have the HLS stream coming out of Mux, you still need a player to actually render the content and view it. This is often a piece of the puzzle that's overlooked. The good news is though, we have Mux Player, which comes fully integrated with Mux Video and Mux Data. It's fully customizable and flexible because it's built on open source software, so you can make it fit whatever needs you have. While we think Mux Player is pretty great, keep in mind you don't have to use it, you can use any player that supports HLS. So here in the diagram, we have thumbnail images coming down from Mux, which is what we use to create the timeline hover previews within Mux Player, and that source from the image API. We also have the Mux data session beacons being sent back to Mux to keep track of playback quality, which then powers the engagement metrics feature that you can use to send to your content creator so that they know how many people are watching as they live stream. One thing to mention is that the Mux data session beacons are not dependent on using Mux Player. You can integrate with any player you decide to use. So now that we have the core video loop established, you're probably wondering, how does this actually link up to my backend so I can start making requests to Mux? Here we have a simplified representation of what your backend could look like with a database, functions and queues, and a CMS. If you don't have a CMS, or so you're not sure which one to start with, we have a lot of integrations in case you wanna add content metadata to your video pages. You can always query our API from your backend, but you can also make use of some of our asynchronous notification features so then you can keep up to date with what's happening in your environment. You can subscribe to our webhooks to get events in real time about content being uploaded to your environment. And on the Mux data side, you can subscribe to alerts so that you know about performance degradation or high viewership counts. Say you have your own analytics stack that you prefer to use, you can make use of the Mux data streaming exports feature, which lets you push viewing sessions to your own infrastructure as soon as they become available. The internet is a wild place, so we often get asked about content analysis and moderation. Luckily, Mux makes it really easy to extract MP4s and transcripts so that you can analyze your content with a third-party provider and see what kind of stuff is being uploaded to your environment. Another big one that comes up a lot is social media. You can also use our simulcasting feature in case you want to push to platforms like YouTube and Facebook Live. Okay, so we covered a lot. Hopefully this gives you a better overview of how you can make use of all of our great features. Keep in mind, you don't have to use everything that we talked about. You can definitely keep it simple. If you have any more questions or you just want to talk about video, reach out to us on the link below. We're always happy to hear from you. Or check out mux.com to learn more.